Now we are going to do the calculation as an actual long multiplication using the traditional method but we're going to remember what we did previously. Originally we did the first calculation 7 times 2 then 7 times 4 and then 7 times 3. Then we changed to the second calculation and we did 20 times 2 then 20 times 4 and then 20 times 3. So we will start with the 7. 7 times 2 is 14 so it's 4 down and carry the 1. I'm going to put the carries at the top so they don't get mixed up in the calculation later when we add up at the end. 7 times 4 is 28 plus the 1 we carried makes 29 so it's 9 down and carry the 2 at the top. 7 times 3 is 21 plus the 2 we carried makes 23. We could put this straight in our answer because we have no more numbers to multiply at the top. Now we move on to the 20. So the first thing we are going to do is add a 0 here to move the answer digit one space to the left. This is because we are really multiplying by 20. So we multiply by 10 first, then 2. So that has dealt with the 10. And we need to multiply everything by 2. So as we did before, we will do 2 times 2, then 2 times 4, then 2 times 3. So 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 3 is 6. So we have 6,840. Now we just need to add up our answer to get the final answer. The numbers are already in the right column, so it's just a case of adding them up. 4 plus 0 is 4, 9 plus 4 is 13, so 3 down and carry the 1. You can carry at the bottom now if you like. 3 plus 8 is 11, plus this one makes 12, so 2 down and carry the 1. 2 plus 6 is 8, plus this one we carried makes 9. So the answer is 9,234. So we have combined three calculations into one long multiplication. 7 times 342 here, which was 2,394. 20 times 342 here, which came to 6,840. And then we added them up to find our final answer, which is 9,234.